In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Kajabi blog posts to actually drive traffic to your website and actually increase that domain authority for your site and then hopefully appear when someone searches for certain keywords that you'll actually show up in Google and YouTube or wherever you actually blog. Hey, how you doing? Tim here and I've built multiple businesses using the Kajabi platform and help my current clients build their platforms using Kajabi. And if you actually create any type of content, you should be blogging. This is a question I get asked all the time. Is blogging dead? No, absolutely not. Blogging drives almost all of the traffic online. Just go into Google and YouTube and just type in some search terms on Google, especially you will see those written blog posts as the top search results. So aside from not actually blogging at all, I do see a number of mistakes when people create blogs online. And I'm gonna go through just three simple things today, how I actually build a blog, how I design that blog, and then how I share it on social. So without delay, I'm gonna jump straight on over into my Kajabi site and show you how I use Kajabi blogs. So here I am inside my Kajabi and I've just navigated to website and then clicked on the blog section. And these are all my blogs for my personal brand that I've started. And all you need to do, if you haven't got any blogs, uh, just start new post. Now it's up to you about your strategy, how you actually put out content in the world. It is a great idea to try and repurpose wherever possible. So using a blog post is great if you've got a podcast or if you've got a video podcast or if you just produce videos for YouTube, for example, to repurpose them using a blog. So actually you get that double bubble, you actually get ranking on YouTube or your platform of choice and then also getting ranking in Google. So what, as you can see, starting a new post, you've got the media, you either select a video or select an audio to upload. More on that in a sec, I will come to show you how I actually do it. So the title here, so how to create YouTube videos or words to that effect. Then you have content, which hopefully you will be doing some sort of keyword research to actually find out if there is any demand for the content that you're gonna be creating. Then with that keyword research, you're gonna create um, either an email or a blog or a body of text that you can actually put into this content here. And then here, SEO and sharing, this is really important. Um, Kajabi will just say if I how to create your videos if I just click save what Kajabi will do it is it will actually save the SEO and sharing URL we call this the slug this is the URL that just goes after your blog name or your domain name and then how to create YouTube videos it will just self populate so that will actually show up once you publish this blog again page title I probably would use the same page title is how you create your videos and then page description this is really important so the SEO and sharing is key to actually when you send out or publish your blog post the search engines are going to crawl these posts and crawl your website to actually get an idea of what the content is going to be like or what you what message you're actually putting out into the world so it will crawl the page title and it will crawl the page description and obviously you need to choose a social image for that media to be pulled through when sharing that link. So either just grab a few lines or a paragraph from your actual um, content that you're putting out and put it in the description, making sure again, keyword rich content, and then choose a social image. If you've designed something in Canva for a thumbnail for a video, for example, use that same thumbnail here because that will be pulled through for the media. Here at the visibility, you can either hit publish or you can set it to publish at a specific time. So you can actually click in and schedule it out for either a Wednesday or a Friday, however you're actually producing your content. Blog image, if you are actually uploading an image, um, select the image, it has to be a relevant image and you have an area here where it's image alt attributes or alt text. So this is just to actually put behind the image like metadata to actually show or help those search engines identify what this image is all about. So it's really key to, if I had an image all about how to create YouTube videos, I would put here how to create YouTube videos as an alt attribute or an alt text. So it's just text to actually 
help those bots crawl your site and identify what that image or what this blog post is all about. Super important if you want to get discoverable. Tags, this is pretty much for internal use. So tags is helping you actually set up your, uh, your, your blog posts and actually go out at a certain grouping. So I'll show you more on tags when I show you a little bit about my, my blog post and how I do it. But once you've actually populated this, you can click save and I'll show you how I repurpose my YouTube videos by just going back into my blog. And then I'm just gonna click on, let's go to five biggest mistakes when building out an online brand. So here you can see that I've just um, put the title in here. I've already populated this and published this. And what I've done here is I've actually used a um, embed code from YouTube. So when you publish a video on YouTube, actually, if you go to click the share button, you, you can actually grab a text of a code and actually embed it in here. So if you click on the little source code element here, this is the embed code that I grab from YouTube and just put it straight into my content. And then you can see here, I've got the actual main body of the content and then it self populates a URL for me to, to share. Um, and then I've got the, the image in here, it's exactly the same image. Uh, I haven't put a text, I haven't put all text in this blog image here, but it's up to you how you want to, uh, how you want to blog, what your strategy is. You can always uh, transcribe your video and actually that's probably the, the most beneficial way of trying to get found by those bots that are crawling your site to try and transcribe everything you say in that video and then clean it up a little bit. And then here, the organization, again, this is just how to set up your office. So I, I have um, uh, a playlist on YouTube where I teach everything about how to set up your online office. So let's go ahead and have a look at my, my website. Again, clicking on the blog and then going into finding that video. So this is how my blogs uh, present. So it's just pulling through that YouTube video. And then here it is. So this is um, five biggest mistakes when building an online brand. So I click into this, which actually goes into the blog post. And then this is how it presents. So it pulls through the YouTube video here. So my strategy is I want people to watch my YouTube video and I also want them to read my blog. So coming onto my homepage and my website, this is probably the best way of doing it. And then I actually write my the content of the blog here. And also I've got a little call to action, which I will talk about in the actual build of the blog post. So I'm just gonna jump back on into Kajabi and I'm going to show you how to design these blog posts. So that's how it presents. This is how you build the, the blog post within your Kajabi and that's how it presents on your main website. So if you click on website design and then if you scroll down here, once this is populated and then you click on customize page, you've got a few options with blog posts. So if you remember here, click on home, you've got blog, a blog post and blog search. The two main ones here, I'm gonna show you how to design the blog and the blog post. So if you click on blog first, it just shows you how your blog page on your website is gonna be laid out. So just remember, every time you design some of your themes, have a look, to see how they present on mobile. So click on the mobile tab, and this is how they're gonna show on mobile and actually have a look and open up your phone and have a look, see how they present. They look pretty good here. I'm gonna go back onto the main page here. So over on the left-hand side, if you've watched any of my building out landing pages, it's very, very similar. Um, you can add sections in here or you can go into the blog listings. And then through here, you can actually um, sidebar search, you can add an image, you can add a call to action. So this is how everything presents. And I'm quite happy with this. You can actually put the right-hand side by over to the left, or you can actually put in any other products in here. What I've done here, if you remember any, if you've watched any of my videos on how to build out your website, you should always have a call to action or a, some sort of lead magnet or an email capture on every single page of your website. Try and design your website and your homepage for email capture, because again, three to five seconds is possibly the, the length of time that someone's gonna bounce your site, try and get their email before they ever come back. So here I've got uh, my five-step system to generate an online revenue stream. It's a simple PDF guide. You can go on here and download that now to actually go to the landing page and download this guide. So I've got this here on my blog homepage. But if I wanted to go back into my blog post, this is how it actually presents. If you were to click into the blog post on the page, 
And then you can see here that this is the embed code from the YouTube video. Uh, this is my most recent one. And this is actually the, the content from it. And then here, as you can see, I've actually set up uh, another email capture, which is my learn my five step system to generate an online revenue stream. So people can actually just get this uh, guide this free guide by just inputting their email and actually downloading it. So that's how it presents. And then you've got one more, which is blog search. Uh, again, you can design the layout of, of this, which is which is totally fine. Um, and again, it just makes sure you have a lead magnet on this page also. So that's actually a quick tour on how to build, design, and then share your blog posts. Again, if you're going to be making it public, share that link on social or share share it within an email to your audience and to your subscribers. But if your strategy was focused only on blogging, the best way to try and get as much traction as possible early doors when you're actually blogging is go and open a Google incognito browser and then type in the keywords that you're actually trying to target with your blog. Have a look to see which blog posts actually are first, second and third ranked for those keywords or that search term and actually read them. Have a look how they've presented it. Have a look if they've got videos, if they've got images, and have a look how much text is involved with that blog post because that's actually done quite well to get first, second, or third. And then just create a better one. Put more content in there, put more value, and then publish that same link to your audience. So there you go. It's super simple to use blogs with the Kajabi platform. If you want to get a 30 day extended free trial, I can get you that with my link. Head over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi. And immediately I'm going to help you out and give you a course that I've created myself called Kajabi Unboxed. It's going to give you the first, second, and third things to do to actually get set up and running as soon as possible. And my challenge to you is to try and generate revenue within your first free 30 days using my link. And if you do stick around and if you love Kajabi like me, to be a paying customer of Kajabi, I'm also going to grant you another product. This is Kajabi sales page templates. These are the sales page templates that I use in my business. There's a cool feature where you can just simply download them from Kajabi and then upload them into your Kajabi. Use them to populate the structure of your sales pages and follow the guides to actually build out your sales pages. So full disclosure, this is an affiliate link. So if you continue to be a paying customer of Kajabi, a small part of your payment comes back in support of me and this channel at no extra cost to you. And if you're anything like me, you're going to love this platform and it's going to help you in growing your online knowledge based business. So that's it for this video. Hope to see you in another one real soon.